Do you want a drink? Now that we've been dealing with it for five years. With two active kids, Michelle Backus has her hands full for sure, especially with her autistic son, Benji, who has a secret the family tried to hide. It's a puzzle that researchers are trying to solve. When did you think it was weird of what he was eating? I have to say probably around two and a half or so. Benji also has pica. It's a disorder that gives him an appetite for items not found in the pantry. Things that aren't food. Things that aren't food, yep. Like what? Grass and dirt. Um, he'll swallow small pebbles. Um, he chews on sticks. Um, he'll eat crayons and Play-Doh and glue and our toothpaste and our shampoo and our dish soap. Reality shows like My Strange Addiction sparked a lot of curiosity about those who will eat anything from glass to even pillow cushions. But for doctors, little is known about pica or what causes it. So it, it could be common in any children, but frequently there are populations that are more at risk for it. Dr. Philip Basie is an assistant professor of psychiatry at the University of Utah. He says pica will often surface out of nowhere, and you may not believe some of the things people with pica will eat. Hair, uh, burnt matches, uh, cigarette butts is another common one. There are theories on what may cause pica. Mineral deficiencies and mental illness are two possibilities. For Benji's mom, though, his compulsive eating is one more thing that keeps her up at night. He's already had to have two colonoscopies and two endoscopies. Medical problems aside, Michelle says pica affects what the family does in public. She says it's hard not to notice a kid eating dirt at a park. And with critical looks and questions thrown her way, it's hard to hide her embarrassment. I tend to feel embarrassed in a way, like because then they're all staring at him thinking, why is he doing that? I've had people actually ask to be moved in a restaurant, so you know that they're moving because of you. While the looks affect Michelle, Benji appears happy in his own little world, even as he lives with two medical disorders not fully understood. You just, I think, have to learn to that. You have to accept the child for what he's going to be. And, you know, as long as he's happy and, he, you know, he's thriving, you just, you know, be happy for him. For now, they lock up any dangerous temptations for Benji and hope the disorder will lessen with time. Mary Nichols, 2 News.